Here we're going to take a very brief look at the features of the updated iConfig, which includes new components that are specific for controlling the iConnect Audio 4 Plus. First, there is the Device Info tab, which describes your device and firmware revision. Then, new for the iConnect Audio 4 Plus, the Mixer pane, where you can set various mixes derived from both analog and digital audio sources, and route them accordingly to the analog outs. Next comes the new audio patch bay, which is configured by default for use with a door, but can easily be changed with a few mouse clicks to set up different routings as you have need. On the audio info page, you can see the current number of assigned audio channels and mix buses and change them if you desire. In common with the iConnect MIDI 2 Plus and the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, the iConnect Audio 4 Plus also features comprehensive MIDI routing capabilities. On the MIDI info page, you can see all the MIDI devices and ports you have available, including DIN MIDI and USB MIDI, as well as the ports accessible via the host jack using a powered hub. Like the companion iConnect MIDI 2 Plus and iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, you can also route the MIDI information very flexibly among all the connected devices via the MIDI port routing panel. The default setup again allows for immediate use with a door. Under the MIDI Port Filters tab, you can choose whether to allow or deny various common MIDI events to be passed to the connected devices. And you can also remap channels using the MIDI Channel Remap page. Lastly, on the MIDI Controller Filters page, you can add or remove controller filters for various MIDI CC events for each device port. Well, that's a quick overview of what's in the new iConfig. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series for more in-depth explanations of the various iConfig features, especially the new audio mixer and audio patch bay.